Christi, I'm Clemens from Salzburg. I'm here from the Salzburg Tourism Board and today I'm going to show you how my city got its nickname the Rome of the North. Like Rome, Salzburg has a deep and fascinating relationship with the Catholic Church. You can see that in the stunning churches that fill the city. Fun fact, Salzburg has only been a part of Austria for around 200 years. Before, it was ruled independently by the Prince Archbishop making it the second largest church state in the world, after the Vatican, of course. Even today, the Archbishop of Salzburg enjoys special status within the Catholic Church and is one of the church's most important dignitaries. You can visit one of Salzburg's 50 churches on your own, but if you take a pre-book tour, you learn the real secrets hidden within the ancient walls. Museums are also a great way to dive into Salzburg's unique history. Try the Salzburg Domquartier, the largest museum for Baroque history north of the Alps. It connects the Prince Archbishop's residence, the cathedral and St. Peter Monastery. No Salzburg stay is complete without attending a live performance of sacred music. Thanks in part to Mozart's legacy, Salzburg's sacred music scene still thrives today. Listening to sacred music in a historic church or concert hall is a truly unforgettable experience. That should give you a start in exploring Salzburg's sacred history. 